If you cannot handle that inventory on a weekly basis, it's time for a repricer. What's going on everybody? It is Manny and I am back with another video. The question has popped up an awful lot and it's usually from folks that are starting off or not been in the business for very long. The question is, do I need a repricer and when is the right time to jump in? And I think before you can truly answer that question, you have to ask yourself, how often are you repricing your inventory? And let's talk about the mistakes that are being made with repricing. There are too many people that are setting their prices and abandoning their listings. If you truly want to capitalize on markets that are in your favor and you want to increase your sell through and your cash flow, you need to reprice. Notice how I did not say that you need an automated repricer, but you definitely have to have a very good plan for repricing and repricing often. But as far as whether or not you need to get a repricer, I'm going to give you this rule of thumb. I would suggest that you reprice your inventory on a weekly basis. That is the advice that I would give to a close friend or a family member uh, that was trying to grow their Amazon business. Try to get everything repriced on a weekly basis. If you cannot handle that, if you cannot handle all of your inventory, whether you have a couple hundred or whether you're over a thousand units, I would tell you that it is time for a repricer. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people that have a difference of opinion and they're going to tell you that you don't need a repricer. You just go in there, you check them once in a while. I never check my prices. I'm going to tell you right now that's bad advice really bad advice but ultimately it's up to you how often do you reprice is really going to determine how much money you make because the more that you are competitive in your pricing the better you're going to do as far as sales now even though pricing is every bit as important as what a repricing strategy looks like i'm not going to go into that in this video i already made a pricing books video that i think still holds true i'm going to go ahead and put it in the youtube card for you i would definitely review that if you haven't done so already and if it's been a while maybe you want to go check it out again but as far as repricers go I use Reprice It. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm going to tell you something for the value that it offers you and for the opportunity that it offers you to start repricing soon. It actually gives you an awful lot. I have created an entire playlist on Reprice It, uh, a tutorial on walking through just how to build a template, how to set up uh, your template order, why that, why that it's important, and also schedules. Reprice It lets you set up schedules. Now, at the time that I made the scheduling video for Reprice It, it allowed you to set up 10 sessions a day. Now it's 20. Now, if you can imagine the disadvantage that you are at, if you go through all of your inventory on a weekly basis, congratulations, you did a great job. You're keeping your prices competitive. But when somebody like me comes along and they put together a bunch of templates that actually work together and their entire inventory is repricing 20 times a day, how are you going to match that? So the question is, do you need a repricer? Yes, you do. How often do you reprice? I reprice 20 times a day. And instead of walking you through and just telling you about the schedules, let's show you. All right, folks. Well, here we are. I am in my Reprice It account. And what I am showing you is my repricing schedules tab. Uh, the difference between now and a couple of years ago when I made that uh, first video on uh, repricing schedules is that back then, uh, Reprice It would only allow you to create 10 daily sessions a day whereas now as you can see you can actually create 20 sessions per day and that's what I do uh, 20 times per day my inventory is going to reprice and even though technically it isn't hourly the way that I break it down uh, it essentially is because the first repricing session is going to be during the midnight hour and then I'm going to skip the 1 and 2 a.m. hours and reprice again at 3 something in the morning skip four and five and reprice at six by skipping those four hours in the middle of the night or the later evening on the west coast i can now from six in the morning all the way down up until midnight the following night reprice on an hourly basis now i know that some folks are going to be considerably less aggressive than what this shows you and that's okay you totally can do it let me show you so i went in here to uh to edit a schedule just to show you that uh, the day I may do it daily 
but you can also decide just to reprice two or three days uh, per week by choosing the day of the week that you would like to reprice. So I know some folks that maybe only reprice once a day on every single day, and I know some folks that may only reprice once a week or twice a week. The point is you're using a tool that's going to take this off your hands so that all you have to do is go back and verify what it's doing for you. So you see, I use a tool that keeps me ahead of the competition as far as pricing. What does that do? That's going to increase my cash flow, my sell-through rate. It's going to improve my metrics. It gives me a better shot at getting feedback because I'm building more sales. But here's the question of the day. Do you use a repricer? And if so, I would love to know which repricer you use and how long it took you in this business to decide that it was time to start using one. Go ahead and put in your comments below. Because I know some of you are really dragging your feet on this one. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, tap on that book bag right there. And while you're in there, hit that bell. Turn on those bell notifications so that YouTube lets you know every time a new video drops. Until next time, let's go make some money.